where's the Evan? Where's the link? How do I get the link? Hit start button. What's up, no, Patty? Hi. Can, can we color correct this? I'm looking a little rosy. What? Can we color correct this? I'm looking a little rosy. I know, dude. It's a little dark in here. Is that a black joke? That is going to be Barstool Sports today. Racist. Are there, are there, are there, are there, are there racist on Barstool? Oh, I don't know. 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 I don't I'm going to throw it up on the Mass Hole Nation nice. Twitter. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're about to see. Oh, that's cool. Is that a black joke? Is that really Kenny Womble? Yeah, it's really. Hey, Kenny Womble. Guys, what are we doing? Guess what? Guess what? Who do it? Kenny Womble. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. Can we cut out that YouTube thing? YouTube. Oh, yeah. Guys, what the fuck are you doing? All right, guys. Are we live? What's going on? Are we live? Yeah. So people can see this? Yeah, people can see this. Okay. How do we, uh... This is exciting oh. shit, huh? Hey, Kenny. Hey. Yo. All right, I'm going to find this link. I'm trying to tweet the link. I need that shit. So yeah, what is the asshole nation? What's going on here? Tits or get the fuck out. So, uh, Kenny, do you have any questions for us? Do I have any questions for you guys? Yeah. Anything you want to ask us? Yeah. What'd you do last night? <laughs> There's no one. There's no one on the fucking thing. When I fucking play slapstick, coochie fuzzy grab ass. Well, what well, has a link? And then we have these two people. Come on, then. Can you talk? Yeah, what are your names? Ah, what do you Yeah, your names. Uh, Sony. 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 Yeah. Divi. Hello. Hey, how are you? Where are you from? What's What's on? Ask Ask What's on your arm? What's on your arm? What's on your arm? No, I. S what is it? It's not real, is it? Uh, yes. <laughs> what is it? Wait, is that a tattoo of Jimmy Ruggiero? No. It says it says Patty Quinn. No. <laughs> No, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and have a whole bunch of foreigners laughing at me. What does it say? Show, show, show us, show us what it says. We answer the questions. Has anyone ever tweeted the link? Why isn't Kenny in the room with you? Why isn't Kenny in the room with us? Has anyone tweeted the link? Is there anyone on the house? Last one, last one. All right, well let's all tweet. All right. So why? Where's Kenny Wormwald right now? He, Kenny Wormwald's in New York. Uh, Kenny, you want to take why you moved to New York? I, I've been in L.A. for 10 years, and uh, I just wanted to change, and I can do all the work I'm doing here that I could do there. <laughs> and I'm also, I'm also closer, I'm also closer to my family. Fuck you, Patty. And? And then? He has a beautiful girl. And I'm close to the Fenway Park. <laughs> and, and then? No, and, and then. I, I miss you too, Patty, if that's who you're living with. Yeah, we do miss you. Kenny, who do you live with? You got any roommates out there? <laughs> Just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Is Kenny still going to do mass holes from New York? Yeah. We're gonna, yeah. we're, gonna, we're sending a camera. Mass holes are flying out here. Yeah, we're going to try to fly out to New York and get Kenny back. Mass track, bring Kenny back. I don't give a shit what he does. All right, guys, I got a question. <laughs> Randy Lynn. 
Brandy Lynn. Brandy Lynn wants to know, are Jimmy and Patty single? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and Red and Bingo. Wait, not. really, Patty? Patty, really? <laughs> yeah, really. What? Sure? Yeah. You, maybe yeah, your mama's not going to be watching this, is she? You see a ring on this finger? <laughs> it won't fit on that finger. Uh, yeah. Single. Uh, I don't know how, but yeah, I am. <laughs> I, I want to know if Kurt is single. You guys see this hair? Margarita, are you single? Margarita? I'm single. Is Kurt single? Yeah. Brent McMasters, a.k.a. Kurt, is single as well. Is we... Brent single or is Kurt single? Both. Yeah. All right, so yeah. since you guys are all single, there's another question from Cheshire Cat 1212. Cheshire Cat. What rule? What were the rules for if one of you guys managed to get lucky, what would three of you share your couch? Would the other two sleep on the kitchen floor or something? High fives all around. Uh, anytime Patty got lucky with the Marguerite, I sat down. And watched. And watched. And, and I locked my door. Let's rephrase. Anytime Marguerite got lucky. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, I get, if I get lucky, uh, I usually don't do it at all. I was talking to each other. <laughs> hey, who are you talking to, you fucking scumbag? I'm sending the fucking link so people will watch you. Please do it. I gotta do it right now. Next question. All right. Tanya Cronin wants to know: Are you true mass holes, are you, or are you trying too hard? LOL. No, seriously though. Okay. Trying um, too hard. What the fuck is that? Uh, mean? Yeah. Um. I grew up <laughs> minutes out of the city. Uh, I'm the then, only one who's from the South Shore who really should talk like this. Oh, South Shore. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah Margarita's from the South Shore. You're from the nice part. <laughs> You're a fucking dancer. Yeah. I'm from South Shore. Nah, Kenny's Kenny's authentic Boston. I'm like a fucking poser. But, uh, uh, yeah. I'm from North Shore. I'm about 15 minutes north of the city. But, uh, We're all assholes, though. We're all assholes. Kurt, Kurt's from Jamaica Plain. I'm from um, I'm from Pembroke, which is in between the Cape and Boston. And Connecticut. Kurt is actually from California, so he's not far off from uh, his character. Yes. Well, not far off from my character, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I am from California. All right. You Who like you? avocados, Kurt? Who doesn't like avocados? Yeah. But he's got a fucker. He's got fucker. You're a super fan. Yo, Ruben Rodarte wants to know. Who would win in a dance off, Jimmy or Kenny? I would. True story. Yeah. True story. Yeah, that's the end. Of the I charm the worm. I taught him everything he knows, and that's uh, how it goes. That heel movie does with dance act drink up. I taught him that. It was it's on in commercials and stuff now, and then uh, yeah, I've taken uh, he's taken, Kenny's taken a few of my classes. All right, so maybe maybe in a dance off, Jimmy would win, but who would win? Who would get more dollars at the strip club? Kenny. You guys, you girls, I want to answer some questions. You're right oh, there. there. You're, it's you, so dark in the your yeah. corner. Xandria. We don't know what you I are. We can't see. We can't see you. Oh, so, yeah, it's really early in the morning here. Oh. oh where, are, where are you? Sydney. 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 Is that Nicole? Uh, Is that a girl? Is Nicole? <laughs> 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 what time is it in Sydney? Uh, it's eight at the moment. But I've been up since four. Oh, good for you. Thanks, oh, thanks for joining us. What are you doing up since four? You have Patty's schedule. I kept thinking, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, kept, I kept thinking that um, I was going to miss out on the, the hangout, so you I kept waking up early. Oh, oh that's so nice. That's the nicest thing. We, we almost blew our own uh, hangout. We couldn't figure it out, as you can tell. Can you, but, can you put the light on there so we can see what you look like? <laughs> the light is on. <laughs> do you have any questions? Do you want to ask? Uh, any any questions? Uh, uh, Go ahead, what? Patty. Yo. Uh oh. Ooh. The clothes yeah. or the metal. The what? You said that you want to set it up. The, the metal what? gear. The metal gear. Metal clothes. Metal. Yeah. Oh. Gear. Gear. Yeah. Well, so what do you want? You want a t-shirt? Hell yeah! <laughs> so do I. I keep asking Jimmy to get the fucking clothes line going. I didn't want to do it. But we'll, we'll, as soon as we have them, we'll send one right to you in fucking Sydney. Yeah. Little, little extra for shipping and handling, though. 
Oh, shit. So it's, Next it's, question. It's three easy installments. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Taylor Blaine wants uh, to know, what do you think about Tebow going to the Pats? I'm, I'm all for I'm it. Fine. Tebow. Great. Jim Tebow. Put him on special teams. Let him go fucking. Aaron Hernandez team. might be going to Jeff and Murray. So we, need, we need a new <laughs> tight end, tight so end. End. that's good. We can tight end. And they can throw it. You know, he's <laughs> a man of the people. He's an all right guy. All right. Caitlin Oxstock wants to know, how many beers can Patty drink in three minutes? Uh, and how many minutes? How many minutes? I, mean, minutes? I think you can do a beer a minute. How, well, how many beers we got here? <laughs> no, I, if, I don't know. It depends. I don't know. I'd probably do, uh, I don't know, 14 or 15 maybe? <laughs> Three minutes. I don't know. I Three minutes. 14 or 15 beers. Are you really challenging me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know. I definitely can't do 14 or 15 so minutes. Many, I don't know. One casually? I, think you can, I can think you can do a beer a minute. I can, yeah. do, I can do a beer minute. Yeah. I have a question for Kurt. Yeah. How the fuck did you get involved in this? <laughs> Kurt, Kurt and I did a movie together like three years three years ago? I think so. Three, three. years ago. A home movie? or? Yeah. We made a sex tape like three years ago and um, and I just, it was so memorable, you know? Yeah. <laughs> And then, and then, no, but Kurt, yeah, so, so, tell, a story, so tell, tell a story about meeting the assholes and what your first fucking impression was and how that all went down. So I dressed nice, what I thought was nice. Um, <laughs> um, no, and then they showed up half, half cocked, half drunk. Yeah, you guys are. No. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. They were hungover. So uh, wait, you, you thought it was like an audition? Meeting for like was, a real. I thought I was gonna be fucking reading scripts, man. I didn't know I what to was. expect. I went in there ready to fucking pull triggers. I told and, him he had to be a douchebag producer. And uh, and, yeah. the, and the thing was, Patty and I and I, I'm already joined us a few times. We met a lot of people for the role of Brent, and like they just weren't right, and they just weren't right, and they weren't right. And then we had lunch with with Kurt, and uh, and once he got out of his shell and kind of was himself and joking around and had these ideas. We, me and Patty kind of gave each other a look, and we kind of knew that he was going to be Brent. And then at the end of it, um, I remember we were all walking out, and Kurt came to us. And he's like, "So uh, I would love to read for the part if you guys give me the opportunity. We'd love, you know, read and uh, audition." And we were like, "You got it, man. You don't have to read." Like we knew that he was going to be the the guy for Kurt right off the bat. We were like, we weren't even like nice about it. We were like, "What the fuck are you talking about? You, and you got the, it. You're the fucking guy. Stop. Don't be weird. Let's just fucking do it." And then uh, I guess to go back, more backstory on it is nice. Patty and I we did the shit Boston guy say, and I Kenny hit us up and was like, "Why the fuck wasn't I not in that shit Boston guy say?" And I was like, "Don't worry, you'll be in the next one." So uh, we kind of worked on an idea to make it another show, and you know, with Kenny and Kenny was on board and brought his own ideas to it, which really helped. And then we kind of just blossomed from there. Well, I made my video. Oh yeah, she made her video. That's how we met Marguerite. We met Marguerite. You made a video. We met Marguerite the, through shit Boston girl say. Oh. I mean, we uh, got together for uh, the Super Bowl that yeah, year. I was having a Super Bowl party and Marguerite came by uh, and because we wanted to meet her because she had shit Boston girls say, shit Boston guys say. So that story and the whole thing is in the first episode is actually true. That's how we met Marguerite. Uh, and I think she did find Pat, uh, Patty attractive. She didn't like me. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's, that's really how it all went down. And that's, then we all came together. Patty and I are drinking buddies. That's how we got introduced. Kenny and I, uh, we met back in uh, in Boston and uh, through mutual friends, and we just always kind of hung out. And Kurt and I made that sex tape. So. And Kurt and Kurt made a sex tape. Get no one's seen. Gabrielle, Gabriella Marabella, get fucking off this Google chat. Stop fucking texting me. You're a troublemaker. <laughs> yep, there Every you girl go. I ever met back in back in Boston is texting me right now. All right. Uh, than Gabriella. All right. Next question is from Luz Ramirez. First of all, you guys are amazing. You got all you guys always make me laugh in every episode. What was by far your favorite episode? And is there going to be any more episodes? And if they are, what is in store for the masshole? <laughs> I'll go first. My favorite episode. I mean, there were a lot that I liked, but my favorite by far is the uh, Good Will Hollywood, where we like parody that uh, the Google hunting scene because it was just you know it's our, it's all of our favorite movies. It's all of our favorite scene in the in the movie and. Uh, and we uh, had a chance to sort of just be dickheads and, and, and do the scene we've been practicing since we were little kids. Uh, my personal favorite is I think I like Brokeback Boston. I think uh, at that point our episodes got better. I thought the writing was better. I thought everyone's acting job was better. We had some really great guest stars that joined us. And 
And uh, when I showed it to couple of my friends, people were sitting on the edge of the seats, actually thinking me and Patty were going to kiss. But we, we, that's like. Uh, that's yeah. only off camera. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, off camera a lot. Right yeah. I liked episode 16, the one you all never see. <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, Kurt was great in it. Well, it was just, it was, my dad was at the fire station where he got to use all the cool stuff. So that tell people about episode 16. <laughs> So, so Kurt, Kurt just referenced uh, episode 16. I don't know. Nice, Pat. He, he politically correct. Hey. Yeah, 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 no, it's all right. It's all right. I'll, I'll keep it the uh, PG. Don't shit on your non angry version. Uh, that, that was an episode we shot um, based around uh, Boston's finest. He sort of hired us to do it. Um, we shot this cool ass episode. Kurt's father hooked us up with like all these cop cars and and uh, like this this awesome facility. Uh, Jimmy and I got flown out to Boston to shoot with Donnie Wahlberg. It was the coolest fucking thing. The episode came out great. Um, but, uh, you know, Boston humor is Boston humor. We we made some jokes that uh, Mumbles Benino didn't love too much. I don't think he personally nixed the video, but someone uh, in that, that administrative, non-humorous uh, staff did. And so, so the video got taken down, but we still love TNT. We love Donnie. We love, we love the show. We're still super proud of the episode. At some point, we'll probably we'll put it out, but uh, it, just, it just wasn't working. We're a little too funny for it's, him. It's the hidden episode. Uh, the, I also, the Boston <laughs> Cops reached out to us, and they loved it. Which was really cool. uh, the Boston Cops, that was really funny. So it's not the Boston Cops problem. It was more of a upper echelon uh, TNT people. Where, uh, yeah, we, we, we love Boston Cops and the Nino and fucking Murder Pan and fucking <laughs> Bloxbury <laughs> and fucking all those places. Uh, it's just some, some, someone fucking didn't have sense of humor about it, so we had to take it down. That's the bottom line. And my, what I, think, I think my favorite episode is episode three, where I get to, um, I play Kenny's girlfriend, and I freak out on the girl that's after him. See this? This is it's clattering. It's clattering. That, those, were all, those were all things that I kind of wanted to say to people before, so I got to say it on camera. It's fun. Okay. Kenny, what was your favorite? I have a couple of favorites. I think drunk boxing was pretty fun to shoot. <laughs> um, that single-handedly pretty much did get me evicted. Uh, I had to pretty much beg to keep my apartment. But I think Dan Sack drink off is up yeah. there on my end because Bag is my best friend since I was six, and we finally got to bring his crazy ass on, and we shot at a big fat house and actually had a party. It was pretty cool. It's funny how all of all of them come together. They're all they're all my favorite that week, and then the next week I'm shitting my pants because I don't know how that's going to come together. And then we always make it come together. So I think we've grown as we went, and it's been a cool progression. But they're all ridiculously fun to shoot. So if if, if anyone's ever wondering why maybe some episodes don't come out on time, is uh, our schedule is kind of crazy. We we're doing them week to week for a while where. Uh, we we come up so that we could start. We come up. Uh, we shoot on Monday. Uh, Patty and I would edit on Tuesday, Wednesday. Patty wouldn't sleep or doesn't sleep. I'll sleep like three, four hours. He'll edit the whole thing. Uh, we hand it in Wednesday or Thursday, and then it airs. Friday we both sleep all day because we haven't slept in three, four days. Saturday, Sunday we come up with a new idea, kind of outline, write a script, and Monday we shoot again. So it sure. just. Over and over and keep, over. Keep, keep in mind, a year ago, Jimmy was a financial advisor for a big fucking Merrill Lynch, and I have a fucking finance degree from Boston College. I don't know anything about anything. Like, I'm self-taught, like, fucking Rain Man, like, but retarded at editing. I don't know how to do anything. And I just fucking, like, <laughs> paint it by number. And so I, it takes a little while, and I make Jimmy throw me the whole time, and I go, what do you think of this, buddy? What do you think of this, buddy? And he goes, eh. Uh, yeah, because I, I think the files are actually in the computer. Like, I don't... I'm not, I'm not as uh, computer status. Oh, and they're hell. Yeah, but uh, it all gets done, and I'm um, the whole team. Like, what's the idea? And we're like, we have this idea. Here's the outline, and we shoot Monday. And a lot of it, I'd say 30, I would say 50-50. Sometimes it's completely scripted, and we do some improv, and sometimes it's really improv, and we have a little scripting. But everyone's uh, really talented on that side, so it really comes together. Usually if we have an actor who's good, like like a real actor, like Haley Duff's on set or uh, Jay Harrington's another one, Sometimes if we have a real actor, we try not to be total dickheads and like, no, we just wing it. Uh, so we'll write a script for those episodes. Um, but, you know, we have such shorthand now, we all sort of like know each other's beats and each other's pacing. And, and as long as Marguerite doesn't step on all our lines, we, uh, we usually get along fine. Yeah. Yeah, you okay. girls want to ask us a question? You too? 
Yeah. We have the chance to see Masol on TV. Masol on TV. That's the plan. Masol's on TV. The plan. We hope so, yeah. The plan That's is the plan. We've, uh, we've, huh? we're setting we're set up to take a few meetings. We've taken a few meetings with people uh, on television, and uh, we're kind of seeing what happens. Uh, everyone we've met with so far really likes it, so we'll see. Hopefully, you know, it goes to that next level. But we also have meetings set up in the next. Couple weeks, months, or whatever, with uh, some big names, and we're gonna see what happens. But ultimately, we like to go to television. TV is bullshit, <laughs> but we'll figure it out. Hi, uh, Patricia Ricci wants to know, Marguerite, what was it like being the only girl? Yeah, that's a good question. How about it, Marguerite? <laughs> What's it like being the only girl? It's like a weird social studies experiment where, uh, yeah, you don't know what's gonna happen. Everyone's been very. It's been, it's been, I think I'm a bro now. I don't even, I don't even think these guys know that I have a vagina. I do. I do. Um, but I don't Prove I don't, it! I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> America wants to know. <laughs> Check out the sex tape. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's been a pleasure having Marguerite. She's like, uh, she is one of the guys. Yeah. And uh, we're like not the easiest group to get along with. We're also loud and, and, uh, and, uh, you know, it takes, it takes a special type of girl with some, uh, with some fucking huevos. To uh to hang with us and she's uh she's there. Yeah, Patty and I go at it kind of a lot. In the beginning, we used to a lot. Now we're now we're like best friends. Now we're now we've, we've come to agree. We're like <laughs> you, ever, you ever have like that old like that old cat couple that just fucking hates each other, but you're stuck in it, and so you just go with it. You can't get a divorce. That's just basically how me and Marguerite operate now, and, and it works. And then, uh, we do it for the kids, you know. No, but she's uh it's a, you know there's not a lot of girls who can fucking hang out with. So we got a related question from Jonna Ross. Wants to know, Maggie, why are you so badass? Oh, why are you so badass? badass? Probably because I got to hang out with these guys all day. <clears throat> Gotta be a badass. Um, I think you just grow up that way in Boston. You kind of just people know when you're. Yo, people are actually watching this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bunch of tw tw tweets. Twitter. Tweets. I'll answer. Did anyone ask any questions on answer. Twitter? Answer yeah, some answer of the questions. How do we get more questions from people? How do we figure out I, the fucking I, questions out? I guess I those. So are there new ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have to ask, ask questions. Ask questions via Twitter. Tweet at Patty Q or Kenny Wormel or Jim Ruggiero or Majorino or Margarita and Soli, whatever the fuck it is this week. <laughs> and Kurt Finney. Uh, All right, next question. Nisha Gabriel wants to know why is it Misha in more mass Because he's too fucking cool. Yeah, Misha's way too cool. The thing about Misha is that he's really like the fucking by far the coolest like one on the show. You play him like he's a little nerdy, he's a pretty good actor. Um, but he's like he's like one of the best dancers in the world. Uh, Kenny will tell you, and uh, you know he travels a lot and he teaches a lot of dance classes and. Um, Lately, he's been in Europe a lot, so when, it's, it's, we can't really shoot. Whenever he's around, we try to shoot him because he's fucking awesome, and uh, and he's really good about trying to like be part of the squad and like just shows up for an hour and crushes it sometimes. So he will be in the next episode. And so yeah, we uh, we have him. We, he's he's gonna be there as much as we can have him. He's not going anywhere. I love me, Chef. All right, John Ross wants to know, Kenny, what is your favorite music to dance to? Celine Dion. <laughs> yep. Dion for sure. Oh, I got the fucking Frenchies. <laughs> I like that one. What are you guys, Canadian? <laughs> uh, my favorite music to dance to probably is Michael Jackson, Justin Timberlake. Um, Billy Walsh's Irish music is pretty fucking sick. Uh, yeah, anything with a good. Pat, I think Patty has the next question. I have the next question. This is a transcript. This is this was by far my favorite question. And uh, Kenny, I know the answer to this, but I'm gonna see if you can. Uh, I'm gonna see if you can answer it honestly. From uh, it's from uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, oh, Justin Clark. Justin Clark, great Ooh, question. Sounds like a real fucking dickhead name. Uh, <laughs> Kenny, how many cocks do you think you can fit in your mouth at one time? <laughs> as, as in, in the no chickens? chickens? As in the I chickens? Uh, I would say not not fully erect, but like chucked, like like Rosie O'Donnell chuck. Well, are you talking about cocks, as in like a game cock, or like a cock, like a like a pee pee? As in a little weenus. 
Now, how many chickens can you put in your mouth? I don't know. I don't know, Justin Clark. Why don't you come here and find out, you fucking <laughs> pussy? <laughs> yeah, Justin. <laughs> Justin, Justin, bring a couple of friends because you got to figure out the answer. Great question, though, Justin. Yeah, good question. Go fuck yourself. Seriously, though, Justin, <laughs> we'll fucking beat the fuck out of you if we ever see it. And that's like a fucking fact. We throw it down. Don't fuck with us. No. That's real. Wait, it's not your friend just being funny? No. No, I don't know the fucking kid. guy. Oh, I'm good. Ask, Let him ask a question. I think it's great. All right. Hey, Justin right. Clark, it's me, Patty, from kindergarten. How about me? All right, here's a question. Just for all of you guys. What projects are you working on right now besides <laughs> Mass Holes? <laughs> Kurt, what you? Yeah, Kurt. Kurt, what do you got? Yeah, what's going on? I can't, I can't talk about it even really. I got some questions coming up on my phone too, and you want to go? Well, answer this. I just, I just grabbed. Can you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, answer this shit first. Go ahead, Kurt. I'll answer what shit. This what, question. What oh, uh, Patty and I are gonna shoot a movie tonight. Yeah, feature film. We have a little indie feature that uh, Kurt and I are going to play brothers, and uh, it's a road trip movie, and uh, what else do you think, Kurt? Um, it's going to... You're like real talkative today. I'm super talkative. It's a, we're, we're Sorry, I've been, up since, I've been up since 5.45. Kurt's repped at one of the best management companies out there, we're so gonna he's going to be in a lot of stuff. You're going to see him soon. We're going to shoot a, a run and gun movie. It's about two brothers. Uh, one's, one's estranged from the other, and uh, so I play his younger brother. i got to go out to Los Angeles to find him. To bring him home uh, before our father dies, because he has to, he has to sort of uh, make amends with our father, because they had a falling out ten years prior. And so it's a road trip movie about us becoming sort of brothers again. Um, and uh, and then I all, Kenny and I are also working, and Jimmy's producing uh, a movie called uh, right now it's called Boy Band, the Hollywood Boys. Um, and we're pitching that around. It's about a, it's about like a pretty fucking badass boy, like not in the sense of. Like a bubblegum boy band, like imagine if every fucking crazy musical artist like Michael Jackson, Prince, Elvis, and fucking Freddie Mercury were all in a band, and they all fucking fought each other and banged bitches and did drugs, uh, and they tried to like make them look like they were good kids. So it's like one of those things that should be cool. That would be like another indie type thing that we're developing. And then uh, Patty and I, we own a production company together. It's called Class Act Productions. So we're working on a couple different commercials. We do a couple of comedy videos. We're doing all sorts of different <laughs> things in the air. So. That's something we'll definitely be able to tweet that out. We'll show you some stuff we're working on. And then Marguerite. Yeah, I just, I just grabbed an indie that I shot in L.A. We shot for about a month. And I was the lead woman, which was awesome. And um, I uh, I do a lot of improv at UCB and uh, Rowling's in L.A. So. What was the movie about? It's about, uh, it's very, like, Woody Allen, uh, Woody Allen like, really. So Jewish. <laughs> no, actually not Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> But it's like Woody Allen in L.A. That's cool. Yeah. It was cool. All right, Kenny, answer some of the questions you got on uh, Twitter so we can answer those. All right. Uh, how did Mass Holes come about Mass Hole Nation? Ask From Kayla Wickersham. Mass Hole Nation started with a bunch of uh, people that were fans from uh, Boston University. They were in a... They were in, a, in graduate school together for, you know, uh, entertainment, marketing, or whatever, and we got our done Um And they started it out, and they reached out to us, and we were willing to help them. They helped us, and, and uh, they kind of kept it going, and they really helped us out with our fan base and everything else. So Massel Nation, we do give a big thank you. And uh, actually, I think Massel Nation is run by a, a different group that wanted to take it over that oh, we gave okay. So uh, that's where Massel Nation is. There are a ton of questions on the YouTube page. Let's get Adam. Kurt, where's your headband? Yeah, Kurt, you want to answer that? Where's my headbands? Jonah Ross. Um, I run on duckies. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, I don't wear the headbands from, <laughs> from my day to day. I love how he that at the first episode, just sort of wore it, and I go, yeah, great, do that. And then all, it like, <laughs> you fucking trademark. Yeah. yeah, you know, every every set I've ever been on, there's always someone in the crew that had a bandana headband, whether it's a camera grip, whether it's... Anything. So there's always a guy on with a headband. So I just put it on almost as a joke. And then Patty's like, oh, yeah, I fucking love it. I fucking pipe it. Yeah, I'm sorry. And I haven't been able to take it off since. Yeah. Fucking, like, I like your headband. It looks nice. Yeah, hey, look, fuck you. It looks great. What's so great about this, like, when we go out and say we go out drinking, uh, we're always like, hey, Kurt, do you mind putting on the headband? Or we call him Brent. I, I know he gets aggravated 
on me. We, Patty gets drunk, he calls me Brent. It's the worst. <laughs> so we never call Kurt by his real name. It's it or not, Brent. Yeah. Because everyone else, Maggie, Jimmy, Patty, Kenny, it's Brent. Right. But I mean Kurt. Somebody asked us what our favorite uh, bar is in Boston. What's their name? Say their names. Kenny. Say their names so we can they get uh, Sorry, sorry, sorry. Stop yelling mm -hmm. at me. Uh, Alessandra Iupa. Yeah. My favorite bar in Boston. Uh, my favorite bar. Mine's Daisy Buchanan's. Daisy Buchanan's. I mean, this is one. pretty easy, right, Jim? I, what's your ship? Stats, stats and Southeast. Stats and Southeast. We just go there all day, drink Dr. McGillicuddy's, just get fucking stats shit. Stats and Southeast is probably my favorite. JJ Foley's is good. I put, JJ Foley's good, but I put in a good 10 to 12 hour shift at Stats. Yeah. I grew up on that, the place. Also, the man. Corner Cafe in Stoughton is pretty fucking great. Corner Cafe in Stoughton, go get yourself a fucking pastrami sandwich. That's a wormhole uh, family business. Yeah, right, Natalie. You can't say my name, Jim, and I can't really say yours either. So good stuff. One hole. Hey, who's taller, Jimmy or Kenny? <laughs> <laughs> We're about the same. About the same size as Kenny, but uh, Kenny doesn't think that. He thinks we're, we're, he thinks Kenny thinks we're six feet tall. You're in the Nick Bagger category. You're like just <laughs> under five ten. Yeah, we're, I'm about five ten. Kenny's about five ten and a half. All right, Natalie so, C wants to know. I love y'all's accents. What do y'all think of Texas accents? I'm all about Southern bells. Southern bells. I love great. how the reader just had a Southern accent for that. He was like, "Y'all," and he got all fucking. From Atlanta, he's got it. Jimmy, what would your best pickup line be to a girl from Texas? Oh wow, Texas. I, I always go with like the same one. I go, I always say like, "This could have been us," or like, if she walks away from me, I'm like, "What are you doing walking away from your future?" or oh, things like that. Like I don't. I like that one. Those are just off the top of my head. I feel like his his best his best pickup line is I got dangerous hips. I do have very dangerous hips. I do. Like Does that work? Every time. I got a really good question. <laughs> All right, go ahead. This question's from Annalise Hunt, and it's uh, if you guys ever made a movie about your lives, who would you want to play you? That's a good one. Ah, uh, Conan O'Brien. <laughs> I'd go with Marissa Tomei or Angelina Jolie. <laughs> are, we, are we talking about like who looks like us or who we want to play us? Uh, either or, dude. Just answer the fucking question. I would fucking Leonardo DiCaprio is the man. He's just the man. Uh, I don't think I look like him, but Jimmy would have Joey from Friends. Joey from Friends. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see, Kurt, you probably have fucking I don't know, maybe uh, maybe like Neil Patrick Harris. Ryan Gosling. Um, and, and, and Kenny, I think, uh, Kenny, that guy from Random Geeks, that guy River Phoenix. Uh, okay. That's, That's who right. I would want. Les Stroud wants to know, how much pot do you guys actually smoke? I don't smoke no. pot. I never smoke pot. Kenny? Only in my new movie, Kid Cannabis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Good. No, for real, we don't smoke a lot. We drink a lot, but we're not we're not big uh, weed smokers. Kenny, I, Kenny might be. He smells like pot smoking booze, but I don't know if that's a movie thing or if that's a uh, life. That's thing. star power right there. It was only so, when you visited the set of Kid Cannabis. <laughs> <laughs> when does Kid, someone want Daniel Casella wants to know when does Kid Cannabis and Cavemen come out? Okay. <laughs> Uh, um, I'm going to a screening of Kid Cannabis tonight. It's in the beginning stages of becoming, uh, or you know, whether it'll be picked up for theaters or what the distribution will be like. So I don't have a date. Uh, or for Caveman, it's kind of going through the same process because when you shoot an independent film, it has to get uh, basically purchased by a company to be distributed. So they're both going through that process right now. But uh, either way, if they come out in theaters or straight here iTunes or whatever, they're fucking awesome, so check them out. Right. I've seen Kid Cannabis, it's wait, good. But Kenny, Paige Skinner is on the YouTube page. She wants to know, does your girlfriend speak English? Do you prefer women, or do you prefer your women not to speak? <laughs> That's what Paige she Skinner. speaks very good English, and so I like if they can speak English, yeah. Very well, all right. Do you like it when they can talk, yeah? I, I enjoy having conversations with them in the same tongue. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 hang on. What's going on with the tongues? Patty. Grow up. <laughs> Next question. Do you have any more Twitter questions? Might as well Obviously, I do. Do you, Jimmy? No, because you have no followers. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun.
funny. That was a good that joke. That was a good joke. <laughs> they're laughing. Those girls right there, they're laughing. Let's know what are the requirements to hang out with the massholes? You gotta have a sense of humor. Uh, definitely. Like that's the biggest. Thing. You gotta be able to drink a lot. Oh, look at that. Oh no, the sign fell. <laughs> uh, tits and get the fuck out. Yeah, you gotta you gotta have a sense of humor because if you can't laugh, a couple so Patty's jokes, my jokes, Kurt's jokes, Marguerite's jokes, or Kenny's jokes, like that last joke Kenny made, like that was really funny, but it wasn't true. Uh, but like, you gotta have a good sense of humor. I got a good question. You just got the fucking I mean, I real person. It's not a fucking asshole. Uh, Dot Rat Two wants to know what oh, we miss most. Dot Rat. Dot Rat. Dot Rat. Dot Rat. What's up, brother? Dot Rat. That kid. Uh, he wants to know what, aside from the weather, uh, wait, what do you guys miss most about home? And aside from the weather, what do you miss the least? So what do we miss the most and the least? You want to take that I, first? I miss, my, I miss my family the most. Uh, I'm glad I live in New York. I'm going home this weekend. And it's only like three and a half hours away. What do I miss the least besides the weather? I don't know. Idiots from your high school who talked to you at a local bar, like, they used to make fun of you, now they're trying to be your buddy, and they, like, wrap you in a beer hug and spit on you and shit. That's pretty much, I hate that. You mean Justin Clark? <laughs> yeah, um, Justin Clark. This is what I miss the most about fucking home. I yeah! Miss, I love my family. Yeah, I, and I miss them. But this is fucking tough to deal with. And then uh, what, what do I miss the least? I don't know. Fucking. I got that in New York City, bro, by the way. Bro, Bros with Boston accents. <laughs> All right, Skylar Aston oh, no, fan. No, no, no. Are we going to finish? Are we going to finish? There's other people uh, have to answer. Go ahead, yeah. Margaret. Oh, want, okay, what do I miss the most? It's okay. That's, that's it's true to my heart. Uh, yeah, donkeys. I miss donkeys. I miss my family. I miss people who can have a real conversation with you about real shit. Um, and uh, what I don't miss is the weather, and also there's a lot of like weird sexism and racism in, in Massachusetts, unfortunately, still. Easy, and, easy. And we love the people of Massachusetts. Love them, Your love them. educated, fucking best schools, cultured people. Best, best Jesus medical Christ. facilities, is, but uh, it's true. Fucking it's true. Jesus. Um, what do I miss? I miss the, what do I miss the most? I miss obviously family and friends, and the, the, that. And being home for sports games, man, I miss that. Like we have a good, going to fucking Fenway. We have a we have a great great group of people out here, but like to go home and feel like the, the, the when the Bruins are playing or the Red Sox are playing, so like, just being in that bar, or being in the at, at the stadium or anything like that is, is definitely something I miss. Um, I miss Lisa's least like the weather and the uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Every time I go home, Dr. McGillicuddy's crushes me. All my buddies know how to drink, and they want to see me get drunk, so they just give me drink after drink after drink. So I don't. I love them for it, but like I'm hungover for like six days. It's unbelievable. So that's I miss that the least. The hangover for six days, and then Kurt, you're from California, so uh, you know. I don't miss him. <laughs> Kurt's never been to Boston, but hopefully we'll get him there soon. Grace M wants to know: if you guys could be someone else for the day. Who would it be? Kenny Warmel. I mean Kenny. Warmel. I'll be Jay Z. <laughs> I would definitely. Jay Z is the good one. Um, I would be this fucking guy. <laughs> I don't know who I'd be. If I could be anyone for the day, I don't know. Justin Timberlake would be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. If I could be anyone for a day, I would be like a fucking hobo. I don't have to give a shit about anything. <laughs> I don't have to edit. I don't have to worry about Jimmy calling me and wondering when the fuck I'm going to wake up and come over. I don't have to worry about Montrell asking me how I'm going to engage with the fans. <laughs> uh, no, I love, you know, I, 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 love, I, love, I love my life. I got great friends. I got, I got great stuff going on. Montrell's Shut the fuck answer. up, Patty. <laughs> All right, next question off the Twitter or whatever. Okay, that's you. Why don't you look at your Twitter, Jim? I got one. I got one from Ray Lewis. Do you ever feel sad, Majorina, that you weren't on the Disney show Even Stevens? Honestly, I don't know what that is. Even Stevens? Fucking Lewis Steven? It's fucking Shia LaBeouf when he was. You're 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 a little too young for that. Um, Shia LaBeouf was in a show called Even Stevens. And it was fucking hilarious. And it's I am. It's not Shia. No, yeah, it's Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf no, it's, it's, it's Ben Foster. No, 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 that's Flash no. Forward, bro. Flash Forward, damn it. Dude, I don't know. Should I blew yeah. it? I yeah. fucking blew it. Yeah, yeah I keep blew it. 
No, it's good I show. Getting, nah. I keep getting the question, B's in six or seven. This one's from Paul Clancy, but I got it before. Sorry if I missed you. I got a buddy who who bet five bet a hundred dollars on a five hundred and one odds that game seven would go into overtime, and so I'm rooting for seven games and B's winning OT. I, my buddy's gonna make fifty grand, and I'm not gonna pay for a beer for the next I, year. I think uh, I, honestly, I think last night was a tough loss. I think we're we're a better team, but if we go to Chicago, we could lose. So I think then we win at home and go to Chicago for game seven. We did it against Vancouver, so I think we did it against Chicago. We can win on the road. So I prefer six. For my I prefer five. six, but I, I think we win seven in Chicago. All right, Claire well, Field wants to know, have you ever been to Australia, and do you want to come visit? Is yeah. that you, Claire? No, Andrea. I want to come to Australia. I've never been. I want to go, too. I want to go land down on that. Put it all in trouble. Put it all in trouble. You uneducated you Americans, they don't even fucking say that. I've been there, Claire. I feel your pain. <laughs> Catch me a rat, well. <laughs> This is a good one. This is a good one. <laughs> Chris, Chris got to go, and you read it. Kurt, read it. Kurt, read it. Uh, Caitlin, Caitlin, at Caitlin Costco uh, asks us, if you had to, like if you had to, life depends on it, which one of the asshole guys would you do? Who is he? Hey, Kenny? Is so this is not at me, at, right? At oh. Kenny, Jimmy, me, and you. <laughs> oh, so there's no Marguerite involved in this. So I fucked all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, if you had to. Um, who would I fuck? I'd fuck her. Because <laughs> I'll cuddle you after. <laughs> Boom. He's uh, a yeah. sweetheart. I can't help it. He's the nice guy. Kurt will open your door for you. Take out. He's the nice guy. He's got a good card. And he's a little older than all of us, so I... Uh, He's got, got more, he's got more wisdom. <laughs> you know, can, would you ever consider doing a stand-up tour? Listen, I'll tell you who would be the worst to fuck is Kenny. Because I can tell he's a selfish lover. <laughs> <laughs> he would never give you a reach around or nothing. It'd be all him and nothing else. Fucking Danielle, get your ass on screen and fucking and, and, and argue if you want. But I bet he is, he is all fucking missionary. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Jimbo9187 wants to know, what's everyone's favorite place in the U.S.? Boston. 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 Yeah, Boston. besides Boston. Okay. Seacock, Massachusetts. Favorite, favorite what? In the U.S.? Favorite place in the U.S.? U.S.? That's not Massachusetts. Not Massachusetts. Pawtucket, Rhode Island, home of the Paw Sox. Uh, my, one of my best friends has a house up in uh, Southern New Hampshire on a lake. So that's I go there. We usually go there every full of July, and that's that's probably my spot. Yeah, Soho is pretty cool. <laughs> I'd say New York or uh, Maine. All right. Uh, There's this really good bathroom in the McDonald's up in upstate New York. That's like a place that I like. Good, I got one. A I, good I clean public restroom. You can't fucking overestimate it. Um, uh, what's your favorite Italian food? Jimmy and I can answer this before the lots of group. Um, just a straight up bolognese. I like, a, you know, a, a nice meat sauce is great. It's, my mother's meat sauce is the best. So yeah, my it. father's red sauce is the best. I'm down with that for sure. My granny's <laughs> red sauce will destroy your father's red no. sauce. No, no way. way. Not a chance. Not a chance. What do you guys? What do you guys call spaghetti sauce? Gravy. Fucking gravy. No, we don't say gravy. You say gravy? Gravy, yeah. Oh, you're the North Shore. I actually pronounce. The best thing about being on the North Shore is you have a roast beef three-way. Barbecue sauce, mayo. That sounded like a sexual thing. No, it wasn't a sexual thing. That sounded fucking terrible. Your father makes it at his uh, shop. The The only guy in the South Shore to make it. The famous Mr. Wong. The Corner Cafe. Roast beef three-way at the corner cafe. Sounds like a fucking glory hole. No, 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 no. That's in the North Shore. That's in the North Shore. <laughs> I got one from uh, Jonna Ross, R.S. White. Um, how can I be in the next episode? I'm a dwarf and awesome. We would have fun. Oh, okay. Wait. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> yeah. Are you in L- Are you in Los Angeles? Because because you don't you don't have to fucking ask twice. Just fucking. Oh, really? Send send a like this or loud an email Just, and we'll all oh, connect. Tweet us and we'll direct Tell message. Tweet Massful Nation. Fucking tweet we'll, Massful we'll, Nation. We'll, we'll, we'll Peter Dinklage you all day. Yeah. That's the same one. And you want a headband you're too? In. You're in. Yeah. Yeah, you can have you can have and, one of my and bandanas. And the fact that you're awesome, I mean, hey. Let's well, we don't know if she's awesome yet, but she. That's a fact. She, hashtag fact. She says this. Oh well, if it's a fact. 
Right. You're right. Just look, fucking look, hit us up. Look, this is all her. She's dead. Oh, she's a super. Oh, okay. Good. Sure. I fucking love it. Yeah, you you're in. Just we, hit us up. We really appreciate it. She's the same one who asked Maggie, why are you so badass? That's a Thanks, great girl. question. Well, all right, uh, guys, how do you think the Celtics will perform next season? Bad. They're going to suck. Uh, fucking, what's his Doc Rivers might be going to Clippers. Doc AG Rivers might be out. out. Okay. We get Jordan. Michael? <laughs> Dude, if we can get like uh, like Larry Bird and Robert Parrish and Kevin McHale and like Dennis Johnson back, if like they want to come fucking out of retirement, we might be in. Chief. But uh, yeah, here. Kurt wants a beer. Kurt hasn't had a beer in six you months. That, I have a good one. What superheroes would we all be? Who's that from? Uh, this clearly, is, I would be Woody. Vanessa, uh, five two. I would be Woody. He would be Buzz. To infinity and beyond. She'd be fucking Freddy. <laughs> Kurt, Kurt, you would definitely be no. He, Kurt, Kurt, and Kenny would be Ace and Gary. The, the ambiguously <laughs> 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 done. All right. Um, how did you guys react when Ray Allen did a clutch three in the final? Fuck the e? Jesus, <laughs> Shuttlesworth. Um, fuck, that hurt because I hate the Miami Heat. I, I hate them. I hate the Miami Heat and. Uh, when Ray Allen got the ball, you knew it was going in. You know what? Ray to, to Ray Allen's credit, I fucking hate that he went to the Heat. That is so fucking clutch. That's like one of the best shots yes. in the NBA Finals. Yeah. His elevate, uh, he, that, I mean. He, that was his first three of the game. He's so fucking good. Well, well, when I uh, met Ray Allen, uh, he was a very nice guy. <laughs> Backstage at the Justin concert. He was, uh, he was a fan of dance and his daughter's a dancer. He's a great guy. I'm glad he hit the shot. And he go, and you go, hey, do you see Footloose? And he goes, yeah, I love Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Yeah, it was before I shot Footloose. It was in 2007, you motherfucker. <laughs> How old were you then? Like 35? Uh, what Kenny, the fact, Kenny I'm, so, I, I'm sorry. Kenny is my fucking favorite person. I'm just, I'm like dealing with some personal issues. But he's Why not here. Separation anxiety. <laughs> separation anxiety. I'm feeling like stressed out. And I'm like taking it out on him in this Google Hangout. Because we don't talk that often, and this is the first time I've seen him in a while. You haven't got and a hug in a while. You haven't got a good oh, hug. I'm, I'm sorry, Kenny. I, I just miss you, buddy. I miss not being able to wrap my hands fully around you because you're too fucking big. But it's all about the girth, man. <laughs> We're going to get Kenny back. Kenny's coming back. We're going to get him. Hashtag bring Kenny back. We're going to start that tweet. Hashtag bring Kenny back started. Look, 50% 50 of of all marriages. What? 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 There she is. There she is, is. is Yoko Ono herself. Nah, hey, listen, uh, real. Uh, hey, I know I'm getting all the other dicks logged out. Who logged out? Everyone's <laughs> logging off now. I, I, just, know. Hey, I just want to make a statement. Like, as much as we bust his balls, we've met Danielle. We love Danielle. She's great. Like, fuck her for taking him away. But it's fine. Penny will be back, and, and we'll see him in New York if we go. I'm a big like, boy. It's my own decision. Nah, you're like, you're, you're, you're like almost Jimmy's honey. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, we're going to more. Yeah, this question is for uh, Jimmy and Marguerite. Uh, can any of you speak Italian? No. I speak Italian. You speak full language. You get a degree in full languages. I just I fabricate your fucking resume. I, uh, oh, I, I know speak manja, Spanish, manja. I speak Italian, I know Latin, and I know English. So, so yeah, she, uh, she wins that one. Mm -hmm. uh, so... <laughs> Prove it, though. I mean, you can't just be like, yeah, I speak them. Like, fucking... Want me to speak some Latin for you? No, I want you to speak some Italian. Italian. That's what they asked for. Manja, manja, that's it. Yeah. So you're gonna go to the store and get some fucking meatballs, and then you're gonna yeah. take them back. Oh, all right, cool. All right. Yeah. All right. Mr. Lowlight, they're reading comments, not texting. All right. Mr. Uh, Lowlight, we're reading S comments. Not SK texting. Yeah, we're not texting. We're reading all our Twitter comments. Don't think we're like just fucking being dickheads out here. Your name is Mr. Lowlight. We got three minutes. All right. SK Gruwal Seven wants to know everyone, what's a song you never get tired of hearing? Like I love you. Into the into the Mystic Van Morrison. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah a good one. It's so good. That's a pretty good one. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Anytime I'm feeling blue, that's it. Um, for me, for me, my heart will go on. is a pretty good one. Um, I don't know. You know what? I can't actually. This is true. I can't fucking ever get tired of uh, Dirty Water. Yeah, Every can. time that fucking comes on, it's like literally the you know. And Drunken Murphy is like shipping out the bottle. Like I'm all amped up. 
Shout out to Owen K. Yeah, yeah South Where's fucking Lori Carter? She Southie. Fucking, Lori Carter Berg, stop fucking tweeting me. It's fucking getting awkward, but I like you. You're a good fan, and you just keep doing it. But like, I, I noticed you. Just fucking don't don't scare me. Do, do you guys do you guys on this uh, on this chat have any questions for us? Because you guys signed up. You're on the thing. Any last questions? We're, we're running out of time because Kenny has to go to his uh, movie or something and uh, dance something. Two minutes. By the way, I'm kidding, Lori. I love it. You're a nice girl. You girls have you gotta any give, questions? Uh, you gotta give Team Kenny a shout out. You got Kenny Wong with Fred and fuck yeah Kenny Wong on here. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah Kenny Wong. Fuck yeah. yeah Kenny Wormall. K Wormall fan Sam. She's the illest. You guys Team Kenny. Everyone. Fuck yeah Kenny Wormall is the best gifs. Yeah. Yeah. I run fuck yeah Kenny Wormall. Okay. You do? You run? Why didn't you say that? Yo, seriously, thank you so much. That's amazing. My dad loves you. <laughs> and Sam. Sam yeah, you got the Facebook page on What? And, and, you, and you got the two girls from France. Are these the ah. friends? Is this France? Really? Why are you guys saying this? You got to speak up. Thank you. Yes. Yo, so weird. I'm just... <laughs> I don't know. I do uh, ask a question. Hi, uh, Priscilla R wants to know who shows the most of I got literally. Yo, you guys, I gotta go. Well, we'll, we'll answer a few more questions, Kenny. You can go. Answer a few more. I gotta go. Uh, I miss you all. Oh man, all the dudes are gonna start logging off now that you leave, Kenny. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Thank you. Bye, Kenny. Okay. Good seeing you, buddy. <laughs> All right, we started. I got, late, so. I got one. Who's the cutest? Did you run him? Who's the cutest asshole? Do you see these guys? Do you do you see how cute they all are? They're like, like look at this beautiful Irish specimen. Look at those freckles, that those muscles. This Italian man, like, they, and then this guy, he's Irish actually too. California boy. The California boy, and then there's me. I'm like, oh, I got like lucky. Yeah, uh, Margaret's the cutest girl on uh, Maslow's. By far. By a fucking mile. What else? What else we got? Um, who shows the most of their Boston side from Priscilla R? Uh, I'd say you. I probably, I, yeah. I, you, you're, you're, the, you're the the Boston, uh, I'm like in the, a nutshell. I'm you're, the you're angry, central. you're redheaded, you're, you're, a great, you're, a, you're a hell of a drunk, you're aggressive, but then you're a nice guy, and then you're, you're a sports fan. It's, you're, Big, I'm the quintessential, like, Jamaica Plain fucking asshole. Southie, the Southie. Southie, yeah. whatever the hell. I'm from Seekonk. Jamaica uh, Plain, yeah, yeah. Whatever, and I went to fucking Fenway High, and my name's fucking Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> because he's handsome. Um, any other <laughs> questions? I need a whole bunch of these. Can't read. My phone's all fucked up. I already seen that. So what are our favorite? What's our favorite movies? Good Will Hunting, uh, Shawshank Redemption. I love Far and Away. You guys see Far and Away with um, a good one. Tom Cruise and uh, Nicole Kidman, where they met and Irish accents. And all that. My favorite movie, uh, Good Will Hunting and Gladiator. Big fan. Gladiator is good. Um, Comedy's got to be Happy Gilmore. Happy I Gilmore's love my, I love my, my, my cousin Vinny is the best. My cousin Vinny is yeah, it's really good. Um, I love Almost Famous and Gladiator. Fever Pitch, my favorite movie. <laughs> I actually do love the Fairly Brothers, though. They're fucking, they're, uh, they're from, Dumb and like, Dumber is a classic. Dumb and Dumber is one of the best comedies ever. Something on Mary is really great. Uh, I think the Fairly Brothers are actually really fucking good. That's something. Owen K. Um, the Fairly Brothers are like, they've been crushing it. And maybe not be hitting the box office, but uh, they got the new Dumb and Dumber coming out. So I'm looking forward to that. One of the questions. Next, Boston Katie. Shout out. Hi, girl. Most, would you guys ever consider uh, doing stand-up? Uh, I've tried it a few times. Actually, Patty did a lot of stand-up in college. Was it you or what? In college? Uh, I, like, I, fucking, the, the, I won some First awards. prize or something? Some, 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 some uh, kid from Harvard, and we'll leave it at that. Uh, if I can 
idiot. Uh, beat me in the fucking Boston thing. But I, when I was in college, I uh, I did stand up down on Boylston, and uh, right before the Comedy Connection closed at Faneuil Hall, I got to do a set there for a bit of a pretty big crowd, and uh, that was fun. But I was like kind of an idiot then. I was a young kid, and I just I, more of an idiot, I should say. And I just did like I did like poop jokes and like sex jokes, and they were like dick and fart jokes, and they were like stupid. But uh, they're funny. But you know, well, we but, yeah, I, 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 take I, a run at it. I used to do stand up. I would love to do stand-up again, but uh, it's kind of a grind. There's a lot of comedians out here, so if I ever sort of get to the point in a career where I can do a show for real, then I'll maybe I'll do it. I would totally do stand-up. I do a lot of improv. Um, so that's just right on, you know, somebody gives us an idea, and then we just go off that without anything written down or rehearsed or whatever. But I would do stand-up. I'd actually... Like, oh, God. Yeah, my line is... Oh, I the women hate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jacob Elliot Char wants to know the best guest star you had, and what did they bring to the show that added some zest? Oh man, there were a lot of good ones. Dane Cook was the best. Oh, no. yeah, Dane. Dane Cook was the best guest star. Dane Cook, feel free to tweet him. Yeah, ne I'm never, tweet Dane never Cook. appeared on a Masters episode. We love him. I saw him uh, do a set at the uh, at the Laugh Factory recently, and he literally destroyed the room. He is as good as he has ever been. Uh, we've been trying to get him on the show. We've had a few phone calls and emails. We'd like to get him on the show. I know he's got kind of a weird reputation in Boston now, but he's a good guy. Um, Jojo hey, was awesome. Jojo was great. Haley's really like a good, Haley Duff. Haley's, like, Haley yeah, Duff's yeah. a good friend of ours, and she's always down to shoot, and she's always great. Um, Jamie Silva is a good buddy of mine. He, Jay Harrington is the man. Jay, Jay Harrington is, is literally the fucking best actor great, in great actor. Right now. He's the man. Uh, Skyler was great, but like Skyler, we really not, we didn't know we were gonna get Skyler that day, so we had to shoot on the spot and kind of work out a, an episode all together, you know, uh, improvising. And and uh, he was great. He was he was really Franzia, 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 Franzia Rossi was great. She kind of had to improv too. We had to go around the day off. She's hot as hell. She was great. Let me tell you something about Skyler Aston. Is Donnie Wahlberg was cool. He kind of rolled with the punches. Donnie, Donnie, yeah. Donnie was was very cordial to us. Uh, Skylar Aston was like weird in the sense that like Jay Harrington comes on set and he's cool because like, he's a Boston guy and he drinks with us and he's like our boy already. But like Skylar Aston like didn't know any of us and I've never had a guy like click with our group so fast. He's a good, good that's guy. That's why the episode was about being his new best friend. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's actually just as good a dude as he seems in the episode. Yeah, and um, we're working on other people to be in uh, guest spots and uh, you know. What else? Anything else? Right, General Ross. <laughs> Fucking, uh, I want to say hi to my mother. My mother, my sister Renee, how are you? She was, uh... Steve Casey, I know you're watching somewhere. And my father and my brother Maddie and Alex Dave. Devlin. I want to say hi to Andrew. Andrew. Chad, not. And, uh... Chad's not watching this. Chad's Chad agent, definitely not watching this. Our agent's not watching this, but we thank him for helping us out. Uh, I don't know. And gonna... Mackenzie Cuniff, uh, Team South Shore, yeah. South Shore 781. Lori Carterberg, my favorite, asked me who is my uh, favorite Celtics player. Uh, I'm going to go through a throwback on that one. Jens, what's up, buddy? Jens. Um, but uh, my favorite Celtics player is uh, Brian Scalabrini by a mile. We would love to get Scalabrini in an episode. Get Scalabrini in an episode. Lori Carterberg, what's up, girl? Paul Pierce, my favorite. Uh, favorite Team player. Mayo 11, hey. I, just, I don't know. I'm just kind of... Keep asking this question, we'll stay on, but uh, we showed up late to the party. Uh, Listen, we, we, got, we got nine beers left. We got nine beers left, so, so we can answer we're questions. Gonna, we're going to stay here until they're gone. <laughs> we, got, we got that game seven in the NBA Finals, five until then. Five, 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 I, know, I know Kenny's gone, but if you guys want to keep asking questions, I mean, you can ask us anything. We'll fucking tell you whatever you want. Keep asking. Hey, guys. Yes. Yeah. How many bottles of Jameson do you guys go for during filming? There's always a one, at least one bottle of Jameson on set. Uh, I I've uh, recently given up the fucking spirit of whiskey. Uh, it's just better off for everyone, and, and uh, you know it keeps the property damage to a minimum, keeps my relationships intact. I uh, I I don't really drink whiskey anymore. Jameson, me and John Jameson were good buddies. We're old friends. Uh, when I see him, I say hi, but I, I don't we don't indulge anymore. But there's a, there's a bottle of Jameson on set and a couple of beers. For, for the others, we definitely, that can, that can uh, not get that. We definitely keep Jameson on set. I may, I, I may or may not have been delivered to Jimmy's house by the 
Los Angeles police at four in the morning, and Jimmy decided that maybe I shouldn't be drinking this video. Yeah, when your drinking buddy tells you to stop, stop drinking whiskey, that's when you have to stop drinking whiskey. Uh, any other questions? Go ahead. I, your questions are great. By the way, yeah, fuck yeah, Kenny Wormald's crushing it over there. <laughs> fuck yeah, France. Is that? I don't know. Am I right? I don't know. Yes. Fuck, fuck yeah, Kenny Wormald looks like one of those witness protection people in the interview. <laughs> <laughs> It's true, you do, bro. What's up, you guys? Yeah, my orange the duck. Let, let's let's just fucking hang out. I don't care what. We're hanging out. It's a good cool hangout. Yeah, do whatever you gotta do. Are there questions on the on the YouTube thing? Our guy uh, Jack runs this for us. So we don't, I don't really know. Yeah, let's, let's fucking. Anyone Jack, got questions for Jack? Because Jack, Jack, is, Jack, he runs it. He's gonna hook Jack. you up and put you online or something. Jack's just handsome young guy. He Jack. went to Harvard too. Smart. Yeah. Was it, is it Harvard like? A I went to Stanford University <laughs> next door. Yeah. Uh, fucking what Montreal just fucking nepotism like that. We gotta hide a Hannah, another big fan. John Ross, who I believe is who I believe is, is the resident Peter Dinklage, uh asked if if I can dance for her, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna the way. Give me the Irish jig. You want the Irish jig? Here it is. Hey, a little, a little <laughs> Cool. Yep. This is, this is what our life has come to. Forever dancing. You crushed that, I thought. Thanks, think so. I thought the other form was good. Let's see. We got a... Uh, um, Hashtag bring Kenny back. Thank you, Katie. Get that started. Owen K, can your biggest fan from South to get a shout out? Owen K, what up, fucking Owen K, Ken? What's up, man? Fucking, what's up? Where are all these Add people to call. Um, let's see. How did you guys all meet and who thought of the show? Yeah, we kind of touched base. Uh, we kind of covered that. That's, that's a. Uh, all right. Sort of, sort of covered. Jimmy originally came to me. To, I, I've been directing for a little while. Jimmy came to me to uh, shoot uh, shit Boston guys say. Uh, we, I didn't want to do it. We had a few beers. We shot it. And then uh, one thing led to another. Why are Yankee fans leagues more classy than the shit slinging monkeys that root for the Red Cox? That's a question we're from passionate. Anytime Productions. We're passionate. Oh, that's because oh. uh, we're more passionate. Yankees fans, they were like really. I want to say hi to Hannah. And then uh, also, people are asking, I don't know, some of you guys might know, uh, I direct music videos for a guy named Mike Studd. If, if you guys don't know Mike Studd, you should check him out. He just he just released an album called Relief. It, uh, it was number one on iTunes Hip Hop, it was number two iTunes overall albums. He's this fucking white boy from Rhode Island. Good and uh, he's a good guy, and he's also maybe. The most talented rapper out there right now. Uh, you will know about him soon if you don't know about him now. So check him out, Mike Stud. Uh, yeah, I'm directing supposedly a video called uh, "Kids" for him coming up. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It's a great song, but you should definitely go check out uh, his album. It's called "Relief." You can get it on iTunes. It's like eight bucks. You should buy it because uh, he, he's the man, and he's he's gonna be all over the radio pretty soon. Dot Dot Rack guys, did Aaron Hernandez do it? Doesn't look good. Yeah, that's that's not, that's not, not that's, look that's, good. Like you don't you don't break you don't get, leave your car with four people and show up back with three people and the guy does a mile away. And uh, well, look, I think I think I think they said it on Boston. Like, if Ray Lewis has any inclination for what happens if you murder a guy, I mean, he's gonna take over the league. <laughs> yeah. So I got I got plenty of fucking faith. I guess uh, this is from uh, Vanessa Five Two. What celebrity do you wish you could have in any episode? Fucking Affleck. Matt Damon and Ben Affleck are our ultimate. Damon and Affleck. Yeah, like that's, awesome. And Mark Wahlberg. Would be if cool. you know them, hit them up. Yeah, we'd love to have them in an episode. I don't know if you guys have anything different. No, I'm down with those no, guys. That'd be the those, those would be the ultimate. The show's about two guys from Boston. want to be there. Thank you, sweet girl. You're very sweet. Thank I think, you. I think, I think maybe... Uh, i got a question for you right here. Patty, are you st uh, this is from James Leprey. Are you still throwing down like back in the BC and Amaral days? <laughs> Jamie LaPree, you fucking duck waddling, fucking three point shooting motherfucker. You are a handsome devil. Haven't seen you in a long time. Uh, I still play basketball occasionally, in case you, you haven't seen episode four, you got a little scout from the corner. And uh, and no, I mean, I'm not throwing down like I was, but uh, you know, 
I'm not as good as I once was. Oh, yes. I'm... Um, uh, hey, Jamie LaPree, bro. I love you. Twisted Max sister, yeah, I want the new kids on the block in an episode too. Like, yeah, oh we got God. Donnie for one, but we love the we love Joey McIntyre. We love all of them. We love them all of them. What do I think of Yager's scoring drought? I think Yager's been playing awful, and he's an old man. He looks like me after ten years. I before wish I start you guys could fucking be with Jimmy when he watches fucking Yager on the power play. Oh my God, I want to kill him. He got he had two assists, but besides this, that, he's driving me. This is Jimmy. He's so slow. <laughs> he's so slow. Drives me. I, don't, I just don't. I don't get it. He's just killing me. And but you know what? Every time that's like, is he supposed to be on the point? But whatever. Hey, hey, say what, say what you want about Yaga. Great facial hair. That guy has never been ousted in like fucking looking cool department. No, never. Yaga. Uh, no. Yasmin is Miley. I like your name. One, two, uh, uh, two. Patty and I love you. Yeah. Shout out to her. Hey, I think we got a, a new fan in the. Or is it? Oh, is fucking already, this French. Oh yeah. Brown. Hey, French girls, you got another question? Hey, French girl. No, 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 no. Calm down. I feel like I'm at the end of like a fucking like a three minute data thon and like no one wants to talk to me anymore and I go hang around. Like, anyone? Anyone else? All right, I got a question for you guys. All right. I got a what, what, what's your favorite? Let's go, Shaka. Shaka. What's your favorite musical artist from Boston? Mighty Mighty Boston's Aerosmith. Um. Gotta go Aerosmith, like they're classics, right? Aerosmith, I, mean, I love that Boston. JoJo. Was, JoJo's good. great. Um, is, I mean, Nuke is on the block. Who else is from Nuke is in the block? I mean, the Standells. The Standells did. Uh, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Yeah, I mean, you gotta give Marky Mark his due. I mean, they used good. Uh, is there, I mean, Dropkick, obviously, but they, are, they from Boston? are they from Boston? Uh, here's a great question from Jasmine as Melly. Is that what he's saying? What's Slane. Your... Slane's another good one. We like Slane. Slane's supposed to be in an episode. Yeah, he'll be in something. He's fucking good. What was your favorite thing about Felon Masso? Uh, just being fucking funny. My, my, my favorite thing about Felon Masso is like, I don't laugh any harder. Like, I laugh so hard when we are on set together. Like, a lot of the material comes from just us enjoying each other's company. Like, I know when Patty and I kind of do some of the episodes and start writing some stuff, I'm like, Patty, if you make me laugh, What's in? If I make you laugh, it's in. And Kurt, it's great. Marguerite always surprises with the like, jokes. It's just like everyone is always laughing and in, in good spirits. I think like once we have the first hour, we have a couple drinks, we start shooting. Everyone has a blast, and anyone that ever comes on set, as special guest stars, always ends up and always wants to come back because we just really enjoy what we're doing and really have a good time. We have fun. We like we work hard and we we want to do a good job, but we don't take ourselves too seriously. I think we genuinely like each other and. I mean, my in my in my uh, humble opinion, my favorite part about Mass Souls, and and not to be a, no 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 Bruno, but I think Kurt has been the best part of Mass Souls because we had this no this idea for Kurt to be the guy behind the camera who says a line or two every episode, and he's like turned into this bigger sort of character who does so much for the show, like not even just acting and sort of creating a contrast for us, but he also I mean, he literally operates the camera the whole time. That camera is running. Anytime you see the camera on, Kurt is actually running and the so, camera, which is amazing. He yeah. has to act and film the camera, which is very. That's very been impressive. my favorite part is seeing Kurt's sort of character evolve into someone who's like, not to be a Bruno dude, but like, the, the, like you evolved into what someone. What is this Bruno thing? I don't get the reference. I mean, Borat Bruno, oh, okay. yeah. no homo. Um, <laughs> okay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's that's my favorite part is seeing how. How Massholes was Massholes, and we were fucking idiots from Boston, blah, blah, blah. Now the show is something, like, different, because Kurt has sort of fostered the environment. We've all sort of grown because of it. That's my... We also have a camera guy, Kevin Anderson, who's amazing. Yeah, he's Kevin great. is wonderful. Nicole, fucking... Nicole, uh, Sound Girl. Mission Greg Nicole, Fonda. Greg Fonda, yeah. Mike. Let's clean up your attitude. Lewis Man, Ramirez again. wants to shout out from you. You're a favorite. Because <laughs> you didn't answer. Luz Ramirez... I got Hi. you. I got you, Liz. You guys, I gotta Lewis? go. Yeah, Marguerite's gotta go. Marguerite I gotta goes. go. They're all gonna take a group picture. Yeah, I was gonna say, and, say goes, gonna take a picture. and I won't be in it. So when that happens, um, you guys know that I was here. I love you all. Thank Steve, you all for the support. Steve Casey wants to know if Kenny misses crushing pussy in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> and the answer is yes. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye
wants to know. Oh, I like Steph. Wants to know what your ideal type of girl is for all of you it's guys. Definitely the, it's definitely the chick you fucking didn't know that we lived on yet. Uh, I don't know. That's... What's the, uh, I'm sorry, I'm pulling up too close. Kurt, What's our ideal girl? type of girl? Um, What's Jimmy's type of girl? All your types of girls. All my types. No. I like a girl who's fucking, who's got a sense of humor to her, who fucking uh, knows, knows she's sexy enough, but don't have to try too hard to be. Has to, has to make you laugh. He has to. Has like, to make you laugh. You know what? And Kurt, Kurt had the best line about yeah. what, what you need in a girl or what you need in a relationship. Kurt, I don't know if you remember this. Really cool. You gotta make each other feel cool. You gotta make yeah. each other feel cool. There's that's a little mass of wisdom for you. Yeah, that's, that's, you just wanna make each other feel cool. Yeah. Any, any girl that can make me feel cool all the time, all the time. it helps if you're good looking. Yeah, it Keep does. that out. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you like that. Good kiss. I'm a good. sucker for light eyes good. and uh, dark hair. I'm a sucker for that. The sense of humor is huge. <laughs> A girl you can go to dinner with and split a bottle of wine and have a blast with is always nice. I don't know. I don't feel bad if I don't hang out with Patty or Kurt because they're having the best time ever doing something crazy. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little crazy too. So I like a girl who's sort of like fucking grounded and can like sort of like deal with me being a fucking idiot sometimes. Yeah, it's really. I I actually like that for a girl for Patty, so I don't have to babysit him. So that's. <laughs> <nice. laughs> All right. Uh, here's a question for. Kurt. By the way, real quick, uh, a girl not to be named, but her name is Anna. Uh, <laughs> Once uh, caught the front end of uh, Whiskey Patty, and it was really funny. She texted Jimmy going, what, what do I do? Well, Patty was so easy. Go, she was, he was so easy. I don't know how to do it. What do I do? What did you, what'd you tell her? I, uh, I texted her back, and I said, give him a Western omelet. Western that, omelet. <laughs> serves every, solves every problem. You give him some Western omelet, and he's good. He's back on easy street. All right. Yeah. Stephanie wants to know, uh, tell Kurt I saw him on Tinder, and I want to know if he's married. Uh, <laughs> No, no. He just, he swiped this way. Reject. No, I bet no. she's really nice. Oh, he probably liked it. I liked her. He probably double clicked and said, was it you or your ugly friend in the picture? Yeah, the, the thing with Tinder. Girls, you get, yeah. on Tinder, get a goddamn picture that's of you. I don't want to see you and your fucking hotter friend, because even if you're decent looking, I'm just wondering what you got in for me. Oh, um, any other questions? This, little, this is the transcript. You guys are out. What? Fuck yeah, Kenny Warmo. What do you got? You got anything for us? Come on, ask us anything. We're just hanging out here. Oh. How about the rest of the outtakes? What's that? Here, here's the deal with the rest of the outtakes. Um, are you really going to tell them what's up with the outtakes? No, we, we went through them. There's a lot of outtakes. There's too many outtakes. Um, we're actually working on it. Uh, that might be something to come near the end once we finish all the episodes. It's better to just, we went through the one through five, but it might be best to just put them all together and give you guys so, like, I It's literally me and Jimmy doing it. And so, like, just us fucking editing, like, we shoot, I don't know, what, two hours worth of footage for every episode? And so we gotta comb We gotta cut that two hours, six minutes. Two minutes. hours of fucking 20 episodes, and it takes, it takes a lot of time, and... And we, 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 when we do outtakes, we always, like, turn in, like, a 10-minute, like, fucking episode, and then Evan goes, uh, guys, you guys suck, and I'm fine. No, I'm kidding. Evan's a fucking man. Evan Montreal Hope brought our show with the, the best, Electus. Yeah. The whole take. Evan Bregman, Montreal McKay, they're sexy. They're, one of them's married. One of them has a very serious girlfriend. Fuck it up. Um, Montreal just had a baby. We love him. Man. And Ben Silver. Ben Silver was Fuck yeah, Kenny Warmo. I'll keep them coming. You got some heaters. I like your questions. Are we done? Do we have any, do we have any questions left? I, feel like I think everyone's tired of us. I feel this. like we're all satisfied. That's like, you know, like when the girl goes, just finish. Yeah. <laughs> just, just finish. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. Are we going to wrap this thing up? We're we're gonna gonna wrap it up. It, you, you so, can, hey, guys, this was, this was, this was, this was awesome, by the way. Really I mean, fun. I didn't, I didn't think I was, I was, I knew we were going to have fun, but I didn't know I was going to have this much fun. So maybe we'll do it again in the future. Um, we're going to have to get more questions so we can keep going. But uh, thank you everyone so much. Thanks, guys. And thank you for watching Mass Souls. It means the world to us that you're watching. We think it's funny, and that's why we keep doing it. So hopefully you will get some episodes in the way. Um, we might be in New York trying to get Kenny back. So uh, we'll let you know. It could be interesting. It might be in New York. <laughs> hey, guys. Happy trail. What? Happy hey trails. I like that. Happy, happy trails. Have a good night, Mike. Later.
Oh, bro.